Imagine we want to write a program that writes to the disk one byte at a time. We could actually implement it like this, where it would actually write a single byte at a time, but that would be extremely slow because disk access is super slow. So instead, the usual workflow is like this. Let's say that this is the memory that our program has. If I want to write bytes to my disk, so these are the bytes that I want to write, instead of writing those bytes directly to the disk, what I'll do is I'll write them to an output stream. So my program will write bytes from memory to an output stream. And this output stream will direct those bytes into a buffer. So a buffer, it's just some essentially like an array, it's just some segment of memory that it has initially empty. And then we write one byte at a time into this buffer, which is in memory. And then this buffer will get written in some larger chunk, commonly four kilobytes. So roughly 4,000 bytes to the disk. So let's talk about this again. So I have some memory that I want to write to disk. From memory, I'll take some bytes and send them to my output stream. The output stream will send those bytes to a buffer, like one byte at a time. And then the buffer will get filled one byte at a time. And when the buffer is full, we will write the entire buffer, which is much larger than a single byte, to disk. This way, we're minimizing the number of slow disk write operations that we have to do. Similarly, if I want to read from disk, let's say that this is the disk, and I want to read one byte at a time from the disk. Instead of reading a single byte at a time, what I'll do is I'll read some larger amount of data. So for example, four kilobytes into an input stream. The input stream will then put bytes into a buffer. And then my program will be able to read one byte at a time from that buffer. So this is the memory of my program. So again, from disk, an input stream will be reading some large chunk and storing it into a buffer. Then my program will be reading from that buffer byte by byte, but because the buffer is in memory, reading it into my program's memory will be quite fast. One last note, when I'm writing to disk, I have to make sure that I do one last flush of my buffer. So a flush of the buffer is when we write the buffer to disk, and then we empty out the buffer. We have to do one last flush because as we're writing, we might not end up fill up uh, filling up the whole buffer before our program ends. So before our program ends, even if the buffer is not full, we have to tell our program, hey, whatever is currently in the buffer, flush it, or in other words, write it all to the disk.